Hello everyone and welcome to another high low game of Age of Empires today a civilization that wants to get its butt up to late game meets a civilization that wants to avoid the late game as much as possible as Hera playing as the Italians in blue gets ready to take on Mr. Yo playing as the Aztecs in red. Now all the players heard their hurdles explore their immediate surroundings and try to get their butts up to feudal age ASAP. Why don't we take a look at the Civ matchup that we are going to be watching today. Now the Italians are what I would call a cost-cutting civilization. Their university techs are cheaper, advancing to the next age is cheaper, and their gunpowder units are also, you got it, cheaper. Now using all these saved resources, the Italians can actually feel two unique units. The first is the Genoese crossbowman. This is a decent foot archer with a good attack bonus against cavalry. So, not exactly something I'm expecting to see against the Aztecs, unless, never say never, we're lucky enough to see a stable get converted and Shalot Warriors start coming out. The second is the Condottiero, a quick-moving tanky infantry unit with not only a massive attack bonus against gunpowder units, but also added bonus armor against certain gunpowder units. So, <laughs> again, not something I'm really expecting to see out of our Aztecs. Rather, our Aztecs, singular. Now, to make these units even tankier on the field of battle, all Italian foot archers, except for skirmishers and their condottieri, can be upgraded to get extra armor. And starting in Imperial Age, you can start training condottieri out of your barracks automatically. This does not require an upgrade, uh, similar to how the Goths need anarchy, how the Huns need marauder. This just happens the second you hit Imperial Age. Let's take a look at our Aztec as he pulls a rhino, did he? Oh, he took a bit of damage, he did. <laughs> the Aztecs, a warrior monk civilization. Their monks gain five hit points for every single tech that's researched, so a fully upgraded Aztec monk comes with no fewer than 100 hit points compared to the usual 30 or 45. Now, to help with the gold cost of upgrading your monks, which is significant, any relic collected out on the map out of the five that are here automatically generate 33% more gold than normal. So, Mr. Yo known to be a relic hunter extraordinaire there's a little bit more reason for him to do so this game and that's to support their monks on the battlefield all aztec military units are trained 11 percent faster their skirmishers can be upgraded to have extra range and attack which might be problematic if we're ever going to see some italian gunpowder units and their infantry can be upgraded to get a massive plus four attack boost which does benefit their unique unit the jaguar warrior an overall middle-of-the-road infantry unit, but one that comes with a pretty damn good attack bonus against other infantry. Now, to support their military production from the very beginning of the game, Aztec villagers do carry three extra resources, and if you take a look at the top right of your screen, you'll notice the Aztecs start with 50 extra gold, which basically means they get loom for free, or they can train two extra militiamen out of a barracks, which right now uh, is a phantom barracks, <laughs> doesn't actually exist, to go and harass their opponent. Although, wait a second, never mind. I knew the second I saw on the minimap that slightly less uh, strong red with the white box around it, that, uh, you know, the second I said there was no barracks, Mr. Yo would plop down a barracks immediately. So both players at 17 villagers a pop, not quite yet ready to go up to the next stage. Although remember the Italians do pay 15% less to go up the next age. Uh, rather up to the next stage i don't know what the, what's wrong with the words coming out of my mouth today to go up to feudal instead of 500 food they need only 425 which is why wait a second i see it grayed out which means our italian off the back of 19 villagers is going to head up to the next stage mr yo by the way also heading up to the next stage at the exact same time except he had to cut on villagers and so he's down one villager at the moment loom for you no loom for Hera. So Hera not only skipped loom, but got an extra villager and is now training two militias out of his barracks. We'll see what that's for. I mean, obviously we know what that's for. <laughs> we'll see when they move out and go and attack Mr. Yo's base. Primary goal for our Italian, nice and secure to the back. I like these forests. They create a bit of a flank on our Italian base. Primary stone, very exposed. Secondary tertiary gold. Also kind of exposed to the front, additional stone to the back, guarded by a very jealous stone-hungry lion. But on the whole, forward position of this Italian base is very open, uh, similar to how the Aztec base is also <laughs> fairly open. Uh, the only difference is that the primary gold and the primary stone for Mr. Yo 
are both nice and secure in the back. And he also has a couple of flanking forests here. So both players so far not uh, advantaged or disadvantaged in any major way over one another. Uh, Mr. O does have extra gold in the very forward position and then extra gold and extra stone off to the sides, which makes his base a little bit more secure. So I would give this very, very, very slight base generation lead here to our Aztec, who not only has the primary stone secure compared to the Italian, but also has his uh, tertiary gold and secondary stone kind of off the beaten path, not really on the attack path. Although with players of this elo, honestly, anywhere and everywhere on the map is the attack path. <laughs> Two militias and a scout, three men-at-arms and a scout. Let's see who manages to get first, rather to draw first blood. Dark Age scuffle ensues here at the back of the Italian base. Oh, and the villagers kill the militia, but one of the villagers does pay the price. Okay, two villagers for two military. Not the greatest of trades there for Hera, who is now pushing into here, but Mr. Yo, unlike Hera's woodline, has walled himself in. So two kills to two. Hera has yet to kill a military unit, and there we go. He just did. Rather, uh, <laughs> Hera has yet to kill a civilian unit. I don't know why my mind said military. He did kill the entire attacking force of Mr. Yo, which means Mr. Yo is now back home with no more presence out on the map. And Hera, I guess, happy that he secured his base at home, even though he's down three villagers at this point. Retreats. One Spearman trying to zone out the scout. Archer's trying to catch up to the men-at-arms. The typical feudal age micro and shenanigans here as the armies. I hope I don't have to zoom out too much. Otherwise, it'll look like little dots on your screen if you're watching this on a phone or some <laughs> smaller screen. Hera's army is converging upon itself. We've got these archers. They are unrelenting. They just need one more arrow. And there we go. Picks it off and evens up the kill count. Now, Mr. Yo finally gets the first military kill of the game. And both of them are now are sitting pretty at three kills apiece. Good time for us as they disengage. See what the hell they're building, what direction they want to go. Archery range, blacksmith. So Mr. Yo's got the structures. What he doesn't have is the resources. Are the resources to go up to the next age? Hera, blacksmith, and archery range as well. Okay, so similar builds out of both players at the moment. Hera adding in some skirmishers to his army. Mr. Yo sticking on pure archers, although has stopped training military altogether, getting fletching at the moment, something that Hera does not have. Okay, just uh, wandering around the map, killing camels, taking out his aggression, not against uh, the proper target, but displaced aggression against the wildlife, the flora, and the fauna of the map. A big hill. Who will take it? Looks like Hera is going to take this hill. He has a lot of army supply here. This is five army supply to the two of his opponent. Mr. Yo's archers look like they kind of stopped to the back there. Not really moving, although right as I say that, of course they start moving. Does lose his scout, does Hera, which is not great. Oh, and Mr. Yo again with the wall offs. Hera really can't commit to this at the moment. He's got the more powerful units, the archer, the men at arms, but... The presence of just two skirmishers is really enough to shoo this entire army away. Once the skirmishers have their way with the archers, the men-at-arms are going to die to the, I guess, one archer of the Aztec army. Bit of a body block situation here with the skirmishers. I'm surprised Hera is sticking around for this. Back home, he's... Okay, defending quite well against three archers. Two skirmishers should be enough to lay waste to this entire tiny little army. Mr. Yo, is he looking for damaged villagers? Are there any? There's one that's at half HP here. Will he target it? He tar of course he targets it. The ability of these pro players to just pick the weakest from the herd. It's incredible. It's like watching a National Geographic and seeing the lions hunting and they pick off the sick zebra, the young zebra, the newborn, as sad as, uh, as it is. And it makes every one of us uh, very, very uncomfortable. To watch the lion just absolutely destroy a baby gazelle. That is exactly what these pro players are doing here. Kill counts 8 to 7. Mr. Yo now adding one more villager kill as we saw that one that was at half health. But yet again, things calm down. Mr. Yo's got the gold, not the food. Hera's got not the food and not the gold to go up to the next stage. 
We know they've got the structures. So now I'm assuming they're just gonna kind of walk around, meander about, look for relics, explore the map, get any kind of opportunistic kills if they can catch a reinforcing unit or two here and there. But I suspect that the main engagement here between the players is at an end until the resources start accumulating and then going up to castle. Then hopefully we get to see some big, big battles. mysterio has got to be careful. He sees the flag up on this archery range, finds himself a little nook. This is a uh, good and bad nook. One unit behind these two skirmishers trapping them in there will kill them both and he's kind of just shelling away at these villagers at the same time Hera is doing the exact same thing here but now a lion joins in the the lion oh my god the, the lion got the skirmisher oh my god i love seeing this kind of nonsense happen on age in these age of empires games Abandoned market, abandoned house. Although I don't think Harris sees the house with only zero slash one HP on it. Hera trains another scout now that he's going up to Castle Age, a full minute or so ahead of his opponent. Remember, again, the Italians, they don't need 800 food, 200 gold. They need 680 food and only 170 gold. And so Hera is able to afford to go up a little quicker than his opponent, but yet again is down three villagers. Good news for him, he's ahead five army count. Almost six if he had managed to get that eagle, which just only has five HP left. The scout rejoins his friends and is now safe for a little while. More blue dots streaming across the map. Castle Age is where I suspect... Uh, yeah, we we're building how many barracks now? Three barracks. And we're getting... Okay, infantry armor upgrades. So I suspect we're going to get to see a couple of eagles out of our Aztec. Especially since his uh, exploration of the other side of the map has revealed to him that Hera is making zero attempt to wall himself in. Mr. Yo has completely Howard Hughes himself in every nook and cranny with the exception of the forward portion where his town center will kill anything that moves in here. Whereas Hera's west and north look completely open. Both players are now in the next age. It looks like Hera's plopping down an extra town center as he continues his aggression here to the north with crossbows now. But now we've got eagles. Are they scouts or warriors? In 45 seconds, they will be warriors. But here's what I'm talking about. Hera's base is very open. And we've seen, Mr. Yo, what kind of damage he can do. Even to Hera less than a week ago. If you guys remember the Mayans Huns game, man, the uh, the pluralization of some words is uh, making them hard for me to say today. I don't know why the act the added S. The Mayans and the Huns, Mr. Yo and Hera, about a week ago, we saw what kind of damage Mr. Yo can do with a Mesoamerican civilization under his control, under his Generalissimo's hand. And let's see what kind of damage he can do now. He's only got six eagles, though. Hera's army count still ahead, even if he loses these crossbowmen, which he does. Now he's getting the knights. This is going to be difficult for our Aztec to deal with, unless our Aztec just keeps bumping out units, which is uh, the Aztec thing to do at the moment. He's going three eagles, one out of each barracks. And remember, now that they're warriors, now that they're in Castle H, should be a plus three attack bonus against cavalry. Which is why they ganged up and absolutely destroyed that one night in the blink of a freaking eye. Although, in all fairness, that night was softened up a little bit by the lion that it was uh, that was chasing it. And now Hera retreats home. Wall off. Okay, he's starting kind of a wall off. Mr. Yo channeling his inner Huang with a siege workshop. I don't see any monks yet from him. I actually, right, <laughs> right as I say that, I see a monk at the top of my screen. And now Mr. is going to pivot around, use the mobility of these eagles. Knight, obviously more mobile, but the eagle is still a pretty damn mobile unit. Crossbows adding as much damage as they can, but with a base of, what is it, a two? A three, rather. My mistake. A base of a three pierce armor. Those crossbows are going to have a tough time scaring these eagle warriors. 
Although if the Eagles HP is pretty bad, then uh, yeah, they would scare them indeed. Wall off, wall off, wall off. I'm getting a little concerned here for Hera. This is exactly what Mr. Yo did to him a week ago as the Mayans. He would just non-stop running around with his Eagle Warriors. And now even though Hera can defend himself, this is a few seconds of idle time as the villagers have to garrison inside there. By the way, has Hera seen, has he gotten, caught any wind of this? No, he hasn't. He has no clue that a Mangonel is about to pop up. And Mr. is just super happy. This is five, six, seven eagles. Doesn't really matter what the number is. It's a large enough clump that a town center is not a big enough deterrent. And it's also a large enough clump that it can survive a pummeling by a few units here and there. He got the exploration. What did he see? The second town center, the monastery, the stable. And he's happy with that. What did he? What did that really cost Mr. Yo? A little bit of HP here and there? So fantastic scouting out of him using his eagles. He's now ahead five army count. He's down a nine, arm, uh, nine villagers though. A third town center going up for Hera. He is very confident that he can hold this push with his crossbow army that attacks on what? A seven against the five armor. So each crossbow does only two damage to a unit with 55 HP. 28 crossbows needed to one shot an eagle and Harris does not have 28, he has 11. So I'm a little concerned here for our uh, Italian, although if he mixes in a few monks, converts a few eagles, uses these knights quite well, then he doesn't really have to take an engagement, but the problem is for him, the Mangonels change the dynamic of all of this. The Mangonels are now going to force Hera's hand to the point where he's going to have to take engagements. Uh-oh, uh-oh, or he can just do this. Peels off his units, one knight gets converted, but in exchange for a monk and a Mangonel, not the worst of trades, but perhaps Hera's not really paying attention to all, uh, what, six of his military groups. Does lose another knight to the Eagles. Will Mr. Yo lose another Mangonel? No, he does not. He saves it. Over here, the Eagles engage yet again. By the way, Mr. Yo is training 10 Eagles at a time. Hera is training a monk, a knight, and a mangonel. To the 10, now 11 Eagles that Mr. Yo is training at any given moment. And with being created 11% faster, uh, this is getting very worrisome here. Villagers doing what they probably really do not want to do is stop gathering resources and start fighting eagles. Hera has a decent amount of gold, 250 gold. He can, can, can work with that. The problem is he doesn't have a lot of food, even though he does have 32 villagers on food. And Monsieur is just going to keep poking in, poking in. Lame the farms on the right. Lame the farms in the center. Town center is now lamed. You've got 15, actually 13 idle villagers in there. And he'll just keep streaming his eagles in over and over. He's not stopping the eagle train. Six, eight, nine being trained at any given moment. And Hera has not yet dealt with these mangonels, although has dealt with all but one. Okay, you know what? Hera is kind of stabilized. He's down two villagers. So he is managing to push off the full frontal attack. But that just basically means if Mr. Yo decides to do something other than a full frontal attack, then Hera might be in trouble. Mr. Yo style attack here, here, and in the front might prove absolutely deadly since Hera has very little army count. Although did convert an eagle for a brief, brief second. We had an Italian eagle. Hera kills his own villager accidentally. And for a brief shining moment, the Italian Renaissance did incorporate one eagle into it. And now Hera's supply is just plummeting. His army supply, his villager count, and Mr. Yo keeping tabs on all of this. The never-ending eagle push out of our Aztec. See, I thought he would need to go for multiple fronts to pull Hera's very small army supply apart. But no, he's just continuing his brute force 
entry into the center of the base and Namasio is adding forward barracks to remove defender's advantage from the Italian who will, 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 will not does not get another eagle conversion by the way, eagle is still pretty damn good at sniping monks they do come with a plus 8 attack bonus against monks Ooh, Mr. Yo ventures a little bit too close to the town center. Harris clawed his way back up in... Kinda? He's still down nine villagers. Whereas before he was ahead nine villagers. He's still down 14 army count. He's only at nine compared to 23. Mr. Yo is just really making himself at home here. Houses, barracks, three forward barracks. He's gone up to 23 eagles. He's adding arson, iron casting. They're just going to rip through this Italian base. And our Italian. What is our Italian doing? Okay, good. Raiding. Getting a villager. So no more construction here for Mr. Yo. Unless i mistaken. Yeah, just the one villager. Unfortunately for Hera, that one villager already completed the fourth forward barracks. And now Hera is doing an amazing job using only two knights. He's leading. Oh, Mr. Yo realizes that's what's happening. For a second, Hera was leading these eagle warriors on a merry chase, and then Mr. Yo realized what was going on, peeled more than half of them off. And now everyone is returning like moths to a flame to this town center. This is like the center of gravity in this Arabia map. Everyone just keeps coming back here. Doesn't matter how far away you're flung, it just means you're going to come back even harder. Hera's managed to go up to seven nights, but now a fresh new castle threat appears Hera still needs 20 stone before he can contest this castle and he does get it now he's building his own castle with by the way a lot more villagers 21 villagers to 11 will Monsieur's time advantage work out to his favor no it looks like he's attacking the villagers with eagles we'll see how that works out for him let's see whose castle ends up going up first probably Hera's no no it's Mr. Yo's but mere seconds behind is our Italian who garrisons, saves 10 of those villagers, but not before Mr. Yo can kill. I mean, look at the villager kill count, 50 to 9. That is just absolutely atrocious here. And yet again, Hera secures his center. Eagle, three, four kills. Are they all economic? Yes, they are. Aztec army is now less than twice the size of the Italian army, but... That came at a different cost as look at the total villager count. Hera is down more than 50%. Oh, his petards are exploding. He's building more and more of them. And now the barracks are going to fall now with arson. These guys have a nice little attack bonus plus two against buildings. Another petard comes out. Another petard explodes. I don't know if this is going to be enough. Should he be targeting the siege with his petards? No, the knights move in. The rams are exposed. No, the... Okay, the knights move in. They pop out to the north. Not too sure he really needed that fancy maneuver, but that was a pretty damn fancy maneuver out of Hera. And now they garrison back up inside. Another ram comes forward, but now it's got a contingent of eagles. And another castle being dropped here by our Aztec. What is going on in this game? Hera is unfortunately... Uh, look at this. He's got a quarter of the army. Less than a quarter of the army count of his opponent. He's down now. 42 villagers. And there you go. Mr. Yo, the civilization that wants nothing to do with the late game. Absolutely make sure that the late game is not reached. Although we did get into pretty late game Castle Age. That's still kind of late game-ish. But wow, I... What do I want to say? I want. I really expected Mr. Yo to do multi-pronged attacks, especially when he knows his opponent is constrained into this one tiny little area. Although maybe because Hera is constrained into one tiny little area, Mr. Yo just felt comfortable to continue the full frontal. And I think Hera sees the castle, realizes, oh God, even if I, even if somehow by some miracle I save this castle, which is down to its last 1200 HP, I now have another castle to contend with. One town center is lamed by the Red Castle here. Second town center lamed by the Red Castle here. He's got a third town center, which is under attack by Eagles, who still have five Pierce armor. And Hera just does not have the ability to do everything he needs to do to defend against this. He needs to get his economy back up and running. He needs to get his army supply. And luckily for him, 
Mr. Yo did not do a lot of multi-pronged attacks. So with a very little army count, and by the way, very mobile army count, six knights, he can move over here, then he can pivot over here, then he can pivot over here. If you have a such constrained base like this, having a mobile attack unit like a knight is a, a godsend, especially if your opponent isn't really doing multi-pronged attacks. But even if he was... Uh, Hera could very well defend against this with a few more knights. Unfortunately for him, Mr. Hero's not going to give him the chance. He's going up to 52 Eagle Warriors and just absolutely swarms over this Italian base. I mean, it's not every day we see Hera knocked into a little tiny nook, not even a corner. He still has room to expand up here to the left. He has room to expand down here to the right. But Mr. Hero's not going to give him the opportunity. Two of the three town centers are lamed. Hera lost way too many. Look at that. 58 dead villagers to nine. And even though Hera killed more mil a lot more military at the end of the day, and a lot more in total, at the end of the day, those 58 dead villagers are... Uh, yeah, look at the difference in villager counts. 42 difference is ridiculous. 26 knights. <laughs> I mean, look, you can't compare that. Mr. Yo just absolutely abusing that quicker producing Aztec army to his benefit. PKPM surprisingly in the middle of the game for him. PKPM for Hera. Oh, 2238, 22-13. When stuff like this happens, when it's uh, almost, if not the exact same time, we always have to go back and look and see what's going on. Our Aztec economy is 875, 7600. So about 30% bigger. And he got three relics, which gave him the 33% more gold with that Aztec bonus. A little bit more wood, a little bit more food, a lot more gold. And a little bit more stone, but look at the difference in gold. Holy moly, that's like 5,400 extra gold. Conversion's not really playing a role. One Aztec, probably one knight. And I think at the end of the day, Hera just uh, was not able to stop the absolute insane push of Mr. Yo. I, I mean, that, that's a, a trite and asinine thing to say. Obviously, he wasn't able to stop it since he GG'd. But, I mean, he wasn't able to stop it in the sense that he couldn't find a direction to go do i continue exploding my economy because again remember the italians they don't need a thousand food to go up to the next day just they just need 850 they don't need 800 gold they just need 680 gold and so even though those are still high numbers that's a lot of gold a lot of food it's not as high enough as anyone else especially not the aztecs but missio just didn't give him a chance from the beginning of the game they were both aggressing against each other but once that little quiet period of late feudal early castle ended mr yo was just everywhere and now he's got four very forward barracks i don't know why it says six i think it caught the ones at home four very forward parrot barracks barracks which de removes Hera's defender's advantage and what's Hera's military industrial complex it's two stables two stables i don't see anything else a blacksmith his barracks was destroyed I don't see it. His archery range was destroyed as well. So out of two stables, he's got enough gold for two more knights and food for two more knights. And after that, he's in big, big trouble as this secondary gold is being lamed. Primary gold is still safe. Nice and in the back, which is always why we uh, like to look at the location of resources. So Mysterio wasn't really attempting to kill this. Although for a while, there were five or six villagers fighting a single eagle warrior, which is never, never what you want to be doing as a villager. So let's go back and see what was going on at the 22, 13 minute mark for those 20 seconds. So let's get up to 22, 13. This is the peak APM time for both players. Really? That is a surprise to me. That is an absolute surprise to me. 22, 38, 22, 13. Yeah. Really? Maybe they were both microing their armies and trying to get their economies up and running back home. Seeding, unseeding farms, allocating villagers. Hey, Wood Lumberjack, you're now on stone duty. Hey, Gold Miner, you're now on food duty. Maybe that's what it was, but ultimately doesn't matter. Mr. Yo showing us the power of something as small as an 11% faster created army that just allows the Aztecs to overwhelm their opponents. And these are not in, uh, Incan Eagles that are cheaper. These are full price Eagle Warriors. And so having that extra relic gold, having 5,000 extra gold certainly did help training those Eagle Warriors. And our civilization that wanted to avoid the late game avoided the late game and absolutely overwhelmed as Mr. Yo yet again with a Mesoamerican civilization under his command 
and his generalship defeats Hera, takes the W, but GG to both players. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips and make sure to subscribe and enable notifications so that you're notified of my latest uploads.